This video instruction is to show how to connect eSongbook to CAF's karaoke player. eSongbook is a touchscreen tablet that communicates with CAF's karaoke player wirelessly using a local Wi-Fi network. Please note that only a local network is needed. No internet is required. The main feature of the eSongbook is to display the song list of the karaoke player to search and select songs and to reserve and play the songs. You can think of the eSongbook as a combination of the paper songbook and the remote control. It is an electronic songbook that can instantly update, display, and play the songs without the hassles of paper printing. Also, eSongbook being electronic has many other advantages over the paper songbook. It has my favorite list, a feature that lets you save the songs you like into your own account, it has scoring that lets you score the singers, such as in a singing contest wirelessly using one to five stars. It also has messaging that rings you for your turn to sing or the last call for drinks. These and other features of eSongbooks are explained in other videos on how to operate the eSongbook. Let's go over first the hardware of the eSongbook. A hardware for eSongbook can be any device with Wi-Fi capability such as a mobile phone or tablet. It can be an iPhone, iPad, Android phone such as Samsung, Motorola, Pixel, Android tablet, Windows tablet, and even Windows laptop or PC. It is hard to imagine anyone carrying a PC as an eSongbook, but we mention it because any PC with Windows 7, 8, or 10 can be installed with an eSongbook program to become eSongbook. What is a CAVS eSongbook then? A CAVS eSongbook is simply a tablet that is housed in a protective leather case with an external battery to prolong its usage time. The leather case has a special pouch to store the external battery. Please note that the Windows Phone is not supported. Windows Phone is based on its own operating system called Windows Phone which we do not support. Next, we consider the software of the eSongbook, the app or the program. The app is available in iOS, Android, and Windows. And there are two versions of the apps, the free and full for each of the operating systems. The free version is available for download at Apple App Store, Google Play Store, or our website www.cavsusa.com that spells c a v s u s a dot com. The full version, which is also called the paid version, is available upon request at our website www.cavsusa.com. The difference between the free and full version is that the free version can only select and reserve the songs, whereas the full version can play, stop pause, next, and cancel the songs. The full version is recommended for the operators of the karaoke player. To set up the eSongbook, we need a CAVS karaoke player, an eSongbook, and a network router. The CAVS karaoke player can be CAVS JB199.3, CAVS karaoke laptop, CAVS touchscreen, or CAVS Play CDG KJ Deluxe 64LT program installed in any PC or laptop. Here we show the CAVS JB199 and CAVS Karaoke Laptop as the karaoke players. For an eSongbook, it can be a mobile phone, tablet, or an eSongbook itself. The router is any standard router available in stores such as Best Buy or Amazon. The router name, which is also known as SSID, and the router password, if it is set, are usually written at the bottom of the router. Here in our example, the router name is CAVS Network, and it is not set for any password. The connection from the CAVS karaoke player to the router can be wired or wireless. If wired, an Ethernet cable must be connected between a LAN port of the CAVS karaoke player to a LAN port of the router. Note that there are two different types of port. LAN and WAN in the router and we need to make sure to connect to a LAN port which there are usually in a group of four on the back. Turn on the karaoke player, router and the eSongbook. In the CAVS karaoke player, go to the bottom of the screen for the taskbar. Go to the right 
to find the network internet access icon in the taskbar. If connected by the ethernet cable, you will see the ethernet connection icon as shown. If you are connecting by Wi-Fi, you will see instead the Wi-Fi icon. Click to see the available networks. Select your network, which in our case is CAVS network. If required, input the router password to connect. Note that CAVS network has no internet access. Next in the control panel, go to the tools followed by setting. Check the enable eSongbook server. Click OK. If you are enabling the eSongbook server for the first time, you will be given a pop-up message from Windows Defender saying Windows Defender firewall has blocked some features of this app. Click on allow access. This will allow the karaoke player to communicate with the eSongbook through the Windows firewall. When the eSongbook server is enabled, a program called CAVS RS2 server starts running in the background. Go to the bottom and you will see an icon with a green circle. Click on the icon to open the CAVS RS2 server program. This program controls all communication between the karaoke player and the eSongbooks or any other Wi-Fi devices. It is important to note that when this program is closed, Intentionally or accidentally, all communications to the eSongbook or any other Wi-Fi devices will terminate. Note the IP address written on the top of the CAVS RS2 server window. It is 192.168.1.100. This is the IP address assigned by the CAVS network to the karaoke player. Unfortunately, this IP address can change when you next turn on the karaoke player and the router. You will see later that the change will cause extra work for the eSongbooks and other Wi-Fi devices to connect. If you like to fix this IP address so that it will be the same every time the karaoke player and the router turn on, you need to go into the administration of the router and make the DHCP address reservation. This is a topic of another video. Next we go to my server in the left bottom section. It opens up a playlist slot shown on the right which is currently empty. Note that my server is unique from other playlist slots such as 1 through 10 above because whatever the playlist that is loaded into my server it gets shared with the eSongbooks and all other Wi-Fi devices that are connected. Click on the load button and select the master playlist. Here we loaded the master playlist into my server. Next we go to the eSongbook. We use a Samsung Android tablet for this demonstration of the Android eSongbook. Go to the Google Play Store and search for the app Cavs RS2. You'll find both the free and the full version of the app. Download and install. Note that for the full version, we have purchased the app before. You can purchase it also at our website, www.cavsusa.com, or contact us by email to sales at cavsusa.com. After the installation, close the Google Play. Next, we go to the Android settings and to the connection and Wi-Fi. Select the CAVS network. Close the setting. You can see from the Android system notice that the CAPS network does not have an internet access. Open the free version. 
Go to the setting and input the IP address of the karaoke player. The IP address is 192.168.1.100. Note that when the IP address is inputted, a blue color burst appears on the top left corner of the tablet. This shows that the connection is made and the playlist is being transferred from the karaoke player. Wait for the blue color to turn green, indicating the transfer is complete. When green, press the back button. Next, press the songbook button to display the playlist. Press any song and the reservation screen will appear. Input the customer name, which in our case is Joe. Preset the pitch, preset the tempo, and press reserve. The song is successfully reserved. Reserve another song. Next, go to the queue status. The two reserved songs appear under the name Joe. Go back to the main menu and we close the app. Here we switch the screen to the karaoke player and see what goes on while the Cavs RS2 app is running in the Samsung tablet. Look at the Cavs RS2 server window and you can see on the right side the station 1 popping up when the IP address is inserted in the app. Station 1 itself has an address of 192.168.1.107, which is assigned by the CAVS network. Click on Log and we can see all data transmitted between the karaoke player and the tablet, including the playlist. Click on Q and we can see the reserved songs coming from the tablet. There are two songs under the name Joe. When the app closes, the Station 1 drops out from the server window. We go back to the tablet and next start the full version of the Cavs RS2 app. Being the full version, the app asks for an activation ID. Go to CavsUSA.com and follow the video instruction on how to find the activation ID. Having successfully activated the app, next press the settings. It asks for a PIN code. The factory set PIN code is 0000, which you can change once you are inside. Press the set server IP and input the IP address of the karaoke player. Again, the blue colored burst will appear on the top left corner. Wait for the burst to change to green. Next, press the Reserve Remote Controller. You can select to enable or disable the functions. The Remote Controller includes the Play, Stop, Pause, Cancel, and Next. We set both as enabled. Go back to the main page, press the Songbook. We reserve the songs using the name Mark. Return to the main page and select Q slash remote control. You can see the newly added two songs under the name mark. You can also see the remote control functions as well as the numeric pads, pitch control, tempo control, and etc. Close the app. Again, we switch to karaoke player. As the full version app starts with the correct IP address of the karaoke player, the station one pops up on the right side. It has the same IP address as the free version because both apps are from the same tablet. Again, the log button shows all transmissions between the tablet and the karaoke player. Next, click on Q to see the songs being reserved. The reserved songs are also visible in the Q window of the control panel in the background. Next, as the app closes, the Station 1 disappears from the right side. 
This ends our demonstration of the Android eSongbook.